Minitech, one of the most popular Minecraft YouTubers of our generation and part of the new wave of players on Lifesteal SMP. He would join forces with the deadliest player, Clown Pierce, on the most terrifying team of Lifesteal Season 5, the PMC. But how did he get there? He started off as just another Bed Wars player, then befriended and collabed with famous Minecraft YouTubers, hosted tournaments with cash prizes of up to $2,000, and eventually joined the most popular SMP in Minecraft, the Lifesteal SMP. Thus, this is the story of Minitech and how he joined the Lifesteal SMP. At the beginning of Minitech's career, he was known as an up-and-coming Bed Wars YouTuber, showing off various keyboards and mice and their performance in the game. However, he was never known to be particularly good at 1.8 combat. He just made really good and informative videos about Minecraft and tech. Hence the name Minitech. Most of his videos would get around 20 to 70,000 views, although he knew that his channel could be massive, all he needed to do was find his big break. He would eventually reach the large milestone of 30,000 subscribers, which would grant him the prestigious YouTube rank on the server Hypixel, which is the server majority of his videos would be filmed on. However, it would take him quite a long time to get YouTube rank because most of his video was based around tech, and Hypixel looks for mainly specific Minecraft YouTubers. Minitech would experience his first blow up with a video titled The Best Mouse for Minecraft PvP, which would gain around 150,000 views and begin to build the momentum for his channel. He continued to post videos reviewing mice and showing off his mouse collection for the next few months and do collabs with bigger YouTubers in the space. Some of these videos display Minitech building keyboards for these bigger YouTubers and surprising them. These YouTubers included Not Nico, Bedless Noob, and Cheetah who all had much bigger sub counts than Minitech at the time. Combining the trend with expensive keyboards on his channel with famous YouTubers was definitely a formula for success on Minitech's channel. He would gain over 1 million views on his video surprising not Nico with a keyboard, and beyond that point, nearly every video would reach over 300,000 views. These videos would continue to boost Minitech's channel well beyond 100,000 subscribers making him a solidified YouTuber in the Minecraft community. Minitech knew that this was the time he needed to reach out and collaborate with some giants in the Minecraft space, and that's exactly what he would do. But before we get into that, I recently had a huge update on my Minecraft server, JankySMP.net. This is a lifesteal-based server with no crystal PvP, and also has custom bosses, mythical items, and daily rewards for every day for the holidays. We have frequent events, King of the Hill every Every hour and much more. Check it out by joining my Discord, link in the description. Anyways, back to the video. Minit went a step further than just doing collab videos with other YouTubers, and created tournaments for cash prizes. These prizes would range anywhere from $200 to $2,000. And with large prizes like these in the titles of his videos, they were bound to get tons of views. Some of the most popular videos around this time were his $1,000 Minecraft YouTuber tournament, Minecraft YouTuber's hardest challenges, and I made a $1,000 Minecraft tournament. As you can see, they all fall under a very similar title. Minute would begin experimenting with content related to 1.9 PvP, collabing with some of the most popular YouTubers in the scene, including Clown Pierce, who was known to be the deadliest player on the Lifesteal SMP. He would face off against them in duels for each of their main versions. However, Clown Pierce would end up defeating him in both game modes, 1.8 and the current versions. Following this video, Minute would continue to collab with more Lifesteal members, putting people such as Parrot and Recrap in his thumbnails to boost view counts, and even hosting a $1,000 Lifesteal competition. Everything was looking up for Minitech around this time, and his channel continued to grow at a rapid rate. Some videos, including Minecraft's Hardest World Records, Minecraft's YouTuber's Hardest Speedruns, and Minecraft's Hardest Clutches would reach nearly 2 million views, shattering Minit's previous most viewed videos, and it was clear that he had found an audience who enjoyed his content. But little did Minitech know the opportunities that would soon show up for him. Minit would begin to join SMPs, starting with a video titled Conquering a YouTuber's Corrupt Server. Despite this video not doing too well compared to his other challenge videos, it showed us a different side of Minit's content and what we should expect for the future. 
future. A few months later, Minute's content would officially be recognized, and he would post his first video on the Lifesteal SMP as one of the new members of Season 5, joining the deadliest team called the PMC, along with Leowook and Clown Pierce. The point of this team was to be a group of hitmen who would kill players around the server for hearts. They would get multiple hits early on, including one from Jumper Who, who wanted to get revenge on Bacon Waffles and Maypick for killing her in the past. The PMC would eliminate them somewhat flawlessly, despite the fact that Maypick was able to kill his teammate so they could save a heart. Oh, old buddy, old pal. Well, this well, isn't a great. I don't like this. We have a hostage, right? They have what we want, a hit. Let's uh, let's set a time limit. Let's set a time limit. Let's give Maypick 10 minutes. Got him. Oh my. I opened uh, the okay. stand! I nice. opened the stand! Minute would also fight Radoons, which was a conflict that started at the beginning of the server. Okay, maybe even sooner than I thought. Yeah, Alright, GG's. But the next video he posted would be even more insane. I found Minecraft's deadliest glitch. Minute and Leo had lost a collective 5 hearts by the likes of a new team that formed on the server called the Pirates. But it was actually by an illegal glitch. The Pirates were taking advantage of a game breaking exploit which makes cart damage one shot a player. Minute and Leo knew they needed to get revenge. They allied with a team called Camelot after completing a task that they got from them to get two hearts. Camelot has many talented PvPers, including Radoons, Vitalisi, and Jumper Who, who would be much needed to take down the five-man team of the pirates. Their new alliance would be called the Phantoms, and they would take advantage of the TNT minecart glitch to get the upper hand on the pirates in the next server war. After easily killing Prince Zam twice, Planet Lord would betray his friendship with the Phantoms and begin attacking Vitalisi. Planet Lord attempted multiple traps, killing Vitalisi once, but not Minute Tech. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Hello, I are you? It, I blocked it. Nice. All okay. Right. Can we All kill right. him now? Can we yeah, kill now him? we kill him. Now we kill him. He's poison. Bro, I literally knew this was coming. All right, I if you get him stuck in a cobweb, I'll card him. I'm a little behind right now. Yeah, he's trying to cobweb right, me. I'm, I'm just trying to like make sure he just can't. <laughs> what? Oh my god. I, I, lived, I lived. I lived. I lived. I lived. I lived. I lived. Oh my god. Minute and Planet Lord then parted ways. The final fight of the server would consist of the entire Pirates team versus the Phantoms, and this fight would get Minute and Leo back to the hearts they lost from the beginning of the war. I'll stall, Maypick, and Penguin Water here. Oh my god, that was a good hit! Yeah, me, me and oh, Red are okay. Here's low. I'm getting Zam. Once we focus someone, we just move on to the next one. Yeah, yeah, just focus. Nice! Nice! nice. 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 We're, we're getting Zam right now, we're getting Zam right now. Does he like think I'm low or something? I have so much gear still. I only use like 20 gaps. I just don't sleep recently because the phantoms are here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one, that was a good one. Well, he's gonna try and course her into a cave over here. Oh, he's, they're meeting oh, up, they're trying, to, they're trying to like... Uh, yeah, yeah. This is, this is wild, this is wild, what is going on? Nice! Uh, good it's oh, actually, good. Uh, good. Hey. Kills him, kills him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna do, he can, there, there's a cave down here, there's a cave down here, big horse roots. He's gotta be breaking soon. Oh. Broken, broken, broken. This gotta be it. No! Oh! oh. Wait, what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Watch out, watch out. Don't let him cross. Oh, no! Oh, broke shield, broke shield, broke shield! That was a direct hit. Whoa! Oh, spooky. He's low, he's low, he's low. Oh, oh. What was that little. Oh. Oh, we we almost found the fire. He's not even holding his shield anymore. Did his shield break? Come on. Nice! nice! This guy doesn't have a helmet. Where Where's the helmet? Oh, oh, this guy doesn't have a helmet! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, go Minute would then begin his quest to get immortality on the server by obtaining 20 hearts. He would do this fairly quickly after the war with the pirates by continuing to kill his enemies, and the final heart would be obtained by a deal he made with Mapic. To many people, Minitech is known to be Lifesteal's saving grace, bringing PvP back to the server, since to many, it's been lacking PvP in the recent seasons. Anyways, please subscribe for more documentaries, and join my SMP's Discord in the description. See you all in the next one.